So in general, let's see here. In the past position, we do have the hermit in the reverse position, okay? So in the reverse position, this is when you are not shining light on a situation. It's when you're like rushing full speed ahead and you don't really know, like, um, you, you are lacking in a little bit of introspection, okay? So in the past, you were diving in into things head first without thinking about the consequences. At the same time, it's sort of like um, you're in, this is a, an, an immensely religious card as well. It's taking some time off to really get a bird's eye view of a situation so that you can form so that you can be informed, so that you can form like, um, so that you can formulate a better plan for yourself, okay? It's like uh, being on top of the mountain and having a bird's eye view of the situation below and how everything fits into the, the grand scheme of things, okay? So as Sagittarius, you are quite good at doing this. However, I do feel this is also the card associated with Virgo. Virgos are very detail-oriented, so you might see the big picture, but you don't really understand how things fit, all the small pieces fit as a whole. So there is a, a little bit of a lapse or like even, um, uh, I would say like blind spots, in your the way you analyze situations okay and when it concerns partnerships it is going to be problematic because um i do feel at the heart of it you are overlooking a lot of flaws in people you are very optimistic as a fire sign and you are also very accepting very like live and let live and very carefree and as a result of it i do feel that if you are dealing with people who have um who have like um, betrayed you in the past, for example, and they're coming in with their apologies, you automatically give them the benefit of the doubt. Even if they've done it like three, four times, you, you will still accept them back into your life, okay? Because you do believe ultimately that people change. You do believe that um, things can be fixed and, you know, uh, situations can repair themselves and that people learn from their mistakes and they will come back and they will become better people. And, you know, that's uh, a very nice and a very, like, um, forgiving and a very enlightened way of looking at the world. However, when it comes to your interpersonal relationships, I do feel that rushing headfirst into these per particular, like, um, in these specific situations in which you're dealing with people who have disappointed you in the past, it might be problematic, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I do feel that, you know, more than anything for this month, a lot of decisions will be presenting themselves and you are going to have to um, rely on seeing the big picture, the grand scheme of things. And what I mean by that is um, think about who it is that you want that you, you know, in, just imagine five years from now. Who do you want to be in your life? OK, imagine five years from now where you're going to be who you want to be in your life, how your life is going to um, play out. And if you are currently with somebody and you don't see a future together, it's important to let that situation go because um, I do feel that if you don't, it can end up in disappointment from your end, okay? So there is a sense of overly um, optimistic energy for this month from your end when it comes to lovers, when it comes to life decisions, when it comes to um, even like moving past previous hurts, previous um, negative like entanglements to a better future for yourself so that definitely is indicated here but it's just a matter of like overcoming the temptation to be pulled back in to a past situation that did not work versus moving forward with a clean slate okay so those things are indicated in the cards here I do sense first of all um, when I mentioned that you know in the past position you're not uh, seeing the whole picture and you are very forgiving at this point and you overlook a lot of flaws in people you do overlook a lot of flaws in people because you are very accepting you and Capricorns are very live and let live and um, you know like it's almost like um, 
you you are very accepting and even Taurus too, you Capricorn Taurus, you're very accepting of people and no matter what they do, you can always rationalize why they behave the way they did and you know, you, you forgive and forget basically and you move forward. And that's a it's a really nice way of approaching life. However, um, you know, that can only last with certain people. There are people who will take advantage of that. So be careful when you are, you know, too trusting, too um, emotionally invested in a person that you can't be objective about your honest assessment of them, their worth, and their role in your life, okay? So don't be duped. Don't be fooled by people that you love. Unfortunately, that's a very strong message that I am getting because of all these relationship-oriented cards. So people that you are, in particular, very emotionally invested in, be discerning about um, how they can add value, how they can like, um, how they can you know help you grow. Okay, the ones that bog you down with their drama, with their problems, with their lies, and even indiscretions and things like that. Just be careful about that as well. Okay, so the um, a lot of you might be dealing with like a Virgo. Just putting it out there. I do feel that with the Virgo, it might be a family situation. It might also be like an interpersonal relationship. So let's talk about that first because it's at the central theme of this spread. Okay. I do feel that if you're dealing with a Virgo, a lot of you might not see eye to eye on with this person. And in general, um, I do have a soft spot for Virgos and Virgo people that I've, um, encounter in general virgos have a very very good heart okay the negative side of this because it's in the reverse position um virgos tend to be very like argumentative they they tend to like uh bicker over like little things and, and you know the the picky virgo that's like the stereotypical virgo however they do have a very very good heart okay as a fire sign as a sagittarius i've seen interactions between a sagittarius and a virgo and it doesn't always uh, lead to a lot of, um, it, there will be clashes, okay? This is like clashes of the Titan type of energy we're dealing with here. So it's sort of like you and this other Virgo, um, this other person. There is a very like strong emotional bond. It might have deteriorated over the years if this is somebody that you've been involved with in any type of an interpersonal relationship or even a work partnership, okay? There might be a disintegration in the situation and um, you're trying to fix it and the other person is like backing off. So don't push forward in this situation. Virgos are an earth sign, is an earth element. And um, what I want to really say, and just putting it out there, is that um, Virgos, Virgos will try really hard to fix things, but when it gets to the point where the relationship has run its course, they're not going to, um, they're not going to like keep bashing against a, a, a brick wall. Whereas you might, because you are overly optimistic. Okay, so I. For sure, that's not going to apply for everybody. But if you've had extensive run-in with a Virgo and you're just like, it's a good person, I don't know, know why it doesn't work out. It's because it's not meant to be and it would be in your best interest to try to let that go. Okay, the situation itself cannot be salvaged. It's like pretty much the end of the relationship. It doesn't mean that you or the other person are bad people. It just means that, you know, the love I feel is definitely there. You know, we have the Ace of Cups situation in which there's still a great deal of admiration, attraction, a, a great deal of like fascination with one another. And it's mainly the differences that are keeping this relationship intact. And um, it's the differences that makes me feel as if this is a soulmate type of relationship in which, you know, you clash, you butt heads and you are very different in your outlook, in the way you live your life, in the way you analyze and process information, for example. So um, you're in each other's lives for a reason to learn these really important lessons. But um, and I do feel that one of the main thing that you can learn from the other person is um, a sense of like um, looking at the big picture, okay? They are withdrawing 
somewhat from this um, entanglement with you. They are withdrawing. I, I feel that very visibly. And there's nothing you can do about it. This situation is definitely out of your control. So try to... Um, Try to withdraw as well, okay? So um, don't ride in with too much optimism that, um, you know, that I can fix this. Because um, letting go is as much of a lesson as, you know, being compromising, being forgiving, uh, learning to forgive and forget, and learning to start over. Letting go for a lot of people is a very, very important life lesson, okay? The Virgo is is also learning to let go. And I do feel as a result of letting go and not um, being so adamant about, you know, trying to fix this relationship, I do feel that it is going to be better for the both of you. And then you can both resume your own life, either, you know, separately or with each other on the periphery, but not in a committed relationship. So I hope that makes sense to a lot of you that might be dealing with this situation. I can assure you that, you know, the love, the respect, the mutual support is still going to be there. If you need to draw on this, or if you need to call upon them in the future, however, they are pretty much checked out okay because um, they can't engage in this conflict anymore it's damaging for you know their mental health is damaging for yours as well so let it go you can't recover from this okay so uh, what I am sensing here is um, I usually read you know the middle the middle cards I usually read the card that represents you as well as the surrounding cards associated with you and I also read the la first and the last cards. And um, what it is, is um, from the beginning of the month, I feel that a lot of you have made decisions, okay? And um, it can play out in two ways. And a lot of you have made decisions like the last week of June about how you want to proceed with the rest of your life, how you want your home situation to be, and who you want to be in your life. So, for example, I do feel... a. Uh, an earth sign is associated with this situation, okay? So an earth sign, it can also be like um, a new Virgo, for example, or it can just be like a Capricorn and a Taurus, okay? So there is the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who is like uh, very financially well-off, who's very, um, who's very like clear-headed, who's very supportive, and who's very loving and honest, okay? This is... Um, a positive manifestation of an earth sign. They are extremely dependable. They're always going to be there for you through thick and thin, and you can always count on them, okay? So what I am sensing here is a lot of you have made, like, uh, decisions and um, about an earth sign in particular, okay? A lot of you might be in romantic situations with an earth sign. There might be falling out, and you both agree that, you know, we still care about one another, but things are not going to work out between us, for example, okay? Additionally, there might be somewhat of a, um, a third party involved in your romantic situation, and I do feel that you are, yeah, there's an element here of a, a a third party associated with the lovers in the reverse position. However, the home situation is very stable, so I do feel that... I'm hoping here that a lot of you who are dealing with possibly, you know, past infidelities and past um, unscrupulous behaviors from either yourself or from the partner that you are associating with, there is a truce that is reached here and the other person will make promises, okay? So, for example, if it's an earth sign, I do feel that they are trying their best to appease you. They are trying their best to make this relationship work one last time. And I want to emphasize that it is going to be the last time. If there is infidelity, if there are lies, deceptions, uh, withholding information, and, you know, just ultimately, like, a lot of um, communication problems, a lot of, like, unstable emotional, like, investment with you and an earth sign in the past, if they are promising, you know, I I will promise to accommodate you and I will we will meet each other halfway. And this is basically like the final, final um I guess like um this is like the last try if you are in that situation. 
I would say that the earth sign is actually very sincere. Even the with the Virgo situation, the earth sign is very sincere. And uh, there's a great deal of love still left in this relationship, and it can be salvaged, okay? So the emphasis, again, is on this being one last try. If this doesn't work, if this truce is reached, but the other person or you renege on whatever it is that was promised, then it is going to be is going to have to be over once and for all because that's pretty much the end okay so i'm sensing here for about like um majority of you who are involved in this situation you you are trying your best here you, you know you are trying your best and the other person is going to meet you halfway okay so at the heart of it, there is still a lot of uh, a lot of love and a lot of affection and a lot of like um, just caring for one another on a human level. Okay, so that situation is there. If you have recently like um, you know had a falling out with an Earth sign, for example, if if you have been like recently separated from an Earth sign, um, what I am getting here as well is that um, there is still a lot of affection left. There's still a great deal of affection left, and you both can be civil with one another. And in the future, you might even, you know, be friends, okay? Because um, you're both going to start to see one another's ways of doing, and you're both going to finally get that, okay, so I finally understand where, you know, he or she is coming from, and this vice versa for the earth sign. So that situation, I wouldn't say that you can uh, rekindle in the future because we have the lovers reverse in which the physical attraction is gone as well as the two of cups in which that relationship has ended. It has run its course. So it will materialize and transform into something other than a love relationship. It can transform into a different form in which you can be friends. You can, you know, ultimately agree to disagree and move on with your lives but still be emotionally invested and physically available for one another through rough times, for example, okay? There's also an element of like a dwelling, um, a new home associated with this as well, okay? So, for example, um, there is going to be a little bit of travel here, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm getting that a lot of you are going to be traveling in order to attend possibly like a very big celebration this is a family reunion card this is also the card of a stable home structure and a stable home life a lot of you will be traveling with another person or even you know just traveling to see um somebody's um like a housewarming it can also be just in general um a big celebration a marriage a, a bridal shower a, a birth of a child a um a completion of something okay um what's coming through and i really want you to be careful i really really want you to be careful about this and um i'm just picking this up very very strongly so it's not going to apply to everyone but um be careful with travels okay be very very careful with travels mainly because it seems to me that you're coming from far away and or it seems to me that you are travel traveling over quite a, a long distance in order to attend this situation but um there are going to be some complications so you know be careful with accidents be careful with oh dr driving in the dark as well you know this is um the light the sh the light in the night okay so it's going to be put out because it's in the reverse position so driving at night as well please be careful traveling at night flying even you know just um just please be careful and um i do feel that this is a potentially painful situation like it is physically painful so a lot of you might be experiencing this in terms of emotional and mental pain in which the other person, um, you know, you're going to meet the other person halfway and they renege on their promises, for example. So that can be emotionally painful. But I do feel there's an element here of a house, property, joint property, a celebration associated with you and a person from your past that you're traveling, possibly you're, you're attending this, but you're running into them. Okay, so it is making you anxious and in the back of your mind, you're thinking like, okay, 
um, maybe I can rekindle things, for example. But my advice here is if it ended in the past, I don't feel that it can be rekindled because the, the physical attraction is gone. Also, the relationship has run its course. So be realistic about why you're there. You're there to celebrate this. You're not there to rekindle, to hook up with another person, okay? So um, if you set your expectations like in the wrong places, or if you have like ulterior motives about this trip, you might be disappointed. Okay, so um, that's going to play out, I, I feel, for um, quite a few of you. So aside from that, um, on, the re on the financial front, I do sense that um, there is a little bit of a busy energy on the work front for those, for, um, those of you who are, well, let's see. Okay, so there is definitely, this is a re-examination of, you know, um, your work, your progress thus far, okay, in the reverse position, I do feel that you know how to move ahead at this point, and because of it, you are going to be able to find a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction in the work front, but at the same time, it is going to keep you busy, but you're happily doing it, and you're happily, like, uh, you're occupied in immersing yourself in the work situation, and it is bringing you a lot of, like, emotional fulfillment, okay, so that too, um, I'm sensing here that, um, don't overwork yourself, okay? So, since the energies are so scattered and the, the, um, the cards are echoing the same type of themes here. So let me just, um, move this over and hopefully I will remember where they are in a little bit. So it's basically the same themes, okay? So it's like having a falling out with another person, like possibly an earth sign. And there's a lot of regret here. And I do feel this earth sign is somebody that is in your past. So a lot of, for a lot of you, it could be somebody that, you know, you were involved with years ago and you might have been separated. You might have uh, broken up. You might have divorced them. Okay. And then all of a sudden there's an opportunity that they are going to be in your midst. And you're really, really excited about this. So you are kind of like um, thinking to yourself, what if and what could be. And I do sense that um, if it's somebody that the situation itself ended years ago, I don't feel that you can rekindle at this point. Okay, so be realistic with your expectations. So the cards are echoing the same theme in that it was a situation that was quite beautiful that ended and there was a lot of sorrow and regret from both parties, actually, not just from you, but from both parties. And um, there's this spark in, you know, romance. There's this uh, sense of, like, optimism for the potential of seeing this person again or even, like, rekindling things with this person and being very, like, head over heels, very, very excited and very nervous at the same time. And because of it, you might um, be accident-prone. So just putting that out there, but also you might have unrealistic expectations, okay? So just um, keep yourself grounded more than anything, okay? So going back to what I said earlier, um, so on the work front, I do feel there is a new lease in you know, your, your ability to enjoy the work that you do, um, giving birth to a new work situation, for example, and... Um, what I am getting is one of the main dangers is that don't be so fixated on repairing relationships, okay? So that's something that is coming in very strongly. Don't be so fixated about this. So the financial situation itself looks very, very favorable. Um, if you can learn to just, you know, um, release the outcome to the universe. And I do feel that, um, you know, with Saturn in Scorpio, you are getting a little bit of a break. So um, your actions, you're, you're kind of like going back to uh, your true essence of a Sagittarius, your true self, which is you're overly optimistic. You're very optimistic. So, um, you know, you're, you have this very like bounce back, optimistic, um, seeing the best in people type of mentality, okay, which is fine. However, um, the Saturn is going back into Sagittarius as well so that's why like uh, the lesson if you're not if you haven't already learned the lesson 
you might have to learn it this month, okay? In that um, you can't really fix other people's problems, first of all. And uh, don't be 